so this is a lecture or uh, next lecture in the series and this lecture I want to this few lectures I want to put more uh, into with the vector algebra and uh, the electromagnetics uh, using vector calculus so the first thing are you so this video is about knowing about the position vectors so we'll learn about the position vectors and then I will demonstrate about the distance vectors and this is taking into consideration the Cartesian coordinate system so first you need to first we have already covered a lot of things about this so if you are taking a Cartesian coordinate system it's possible to represent any point in space using the Cartesian coordinate system so suppose I have three coordinates x y and z so my point in space is P which I want to represent and that point can be given by 1 4 8 so when I'm writing this way this is my X this is my Y and this is my Z so I'm starting from a point known as origin which is 0 0 0 and it's possible to represent any point in space suppose my point is 1 4 8 so my X is 1 1 here and my Y is 4 here so when I'm joining both this what I'm getting is a plain XY and my Z suppose my Z is 8 and when I am projecting this upward and I'm joining this with what is my Z I'm getting a point X Y Z which is 1 4 8 in this case and if I'm joining this with the origin so if I call this point P and then whatever I'm getting here it's possible to represent the position of the point P in space so such kind of a vector usually written by OP is known as a position vector so to write about a position vector I can write it in vector form using Cartesian coordinate system like x a x plus y a y plus z a z and if I am writing for this I will substitute the x with 1 so it will become 1 a x plus 4 a y plus 8 a z so this is what is known as my position vector so again if I am having another point Q suppose I have a point Q which is Q is equal to 2 6 and 12 so this is 2 this is somewhere here 6 so it's, this is where it's just getting the XY and if I'm going more up this is my 12 so what am, am I getting here this is just for taking into con this is not a prox to scale but just to show so this is my Q vector so if I'm joining this with the origin whatever I could get is could it be my this is my peak this is my OQ vector and if I'm writing it in the same terms it will be something like 2 AX plus 6 AY plus 12 AZ so if I want to find a vector which is the distance vector which is a distance between two vectors so such kind of vectors is known as a distance vector so if I want to find the distance between P and Q then I can write a vector RPQ which is a distance between P and Q and it's from from P to Q so this vector is from P to Q and it's is giving its distance here so 
so this vector if I am from P to Q if I am taking it then it is a distance vector so I will just draw raise this which is not according to scale and I will just show it in a simpler way how this is possible so considering the ca same case and I am again drawing the Cartesian coordinate system x, y and z now I am having two points here one point is P the other point is Q these are the same points now my task is to find the distance this is a vector OP and this is a vector OQ and my task is to find this vector this is a vector this is a vector so there I have two vectors one vector is the OP vector the other vector is a OQ vector so these both will be what is known as my position vector so these are my position vector and now I want to find my distance distance vector from P to Q so the distance vector RPQ will be from P to Q and it can be written as this distance which is a RPQ vector so as you can see it is so from the algebraic summation of vector what you can find out is that the OP vector plus RPQ vector which is a distance vector is equal to OQ vector so from this triangle from the addition of vector you can say this so you can say that my OQ vector minus OP vector is equal to my RP vector so that's what you could say so now if the same case if the vector was in the opposite direction so if if this vector was in this direction suppose then what it would have become was that my OQ vector plus my RPQ vector is equal to my OP vector in this way in this case my this this would not have been this would have been RQP and if it's in the opposite direction it would be, have been the RQP and it would have been equal to the OP vector so again if in that case the RPQ vector would have been equal to the OP vector minus OQ vector so again that's how you are finding the distance vector between two vectors it's possible to find the distance vector between two vectors by using the addition or by normalizing it or by finding the distance using the addition of vectors as I just demonstrated here how you could do that so that was all about the distance vector and the position vector so again if you say if, uh, if using the same uh, principle I can find the position vector the position vector here is the summation of what is known as the origin so again the if you are having a posi the distance vector as I said was about the position vector and the distance vector so now I will just consider the case same same thing and I will show how it's possible to do mathematically calculate it so if you are having a vector given by a point 1 2 and 1 4 and 8 it's possible to write it using the position vector which we found out like x a x plus y a y plus z a z so this is only considering the Cartesian coordinate representation 
so if you are having a vector using the Cartesian representation you can write it 1ax plus 2ay plus 8az and this is how I am representing my unit vectors in direction x, y and z respectively and my OQ if I am having a point Q at the point 2, 6 and 12 I can easily write the OQ vector as 2x plus 6ay plus 12az now my distance vector rpq which is a distance from from p to q will be written as op or oq vector minus op vector so this way can be read, can be solved by simply subtracting it in a way like 2 minus 1 ax plus 6 minus 2 ay plus 12 minus 8 az so you are subtracting the individual components together that's why you are doing the vector subtraction so what you will get is 1 ax plus 4 ay plus 4 az so this is a distance vec distance vectors which you are getting and these are the position vectors which you are getting So position vectors are the vectors which are leading to the point and one end of the position vector will be always 0 0 0 and the other end will be the point P or respectively point. The distance vector will be the distance between two, two points. So in any case if, if you can say that the distance vector deck vector or the position vector is equal is equal to a distance vector with one end as origin so why you can say that if you are having a vector which is a 0 0 0 vector then you'll you'll have to write it as 0 x or the vector at the origin o o dash you can write as 0 x plus 0 a y plus 0 az and this is a o dash vector and now when I'm having a position when I'm having this vector and if I want to if, if my other vector is this and if this vector I am substituting by the position vector o dash then what I will be getting is a distance vector which is equal to the position vector and this will become r RQO in this case ROQ in this case that is from origin to Q and which is equal to the position vector so if my one end is the origin then my distance vector will become my position vector which can be easily shown here so this is for the Cartesian coordinate system